friends. It is a beautiful day here in New York City. Oh, that scared me. Friends, it is a beautiful day here in New York City. And I am going to go on a little knitting adventure. It's not about knitting, but it's about color. I heard that there is an exhibit at the FIT Museum about the history of pink. And as you know, I'm a pink lover. So I thought I would just take you along with me. Let's go on an adventure. Come on. If you think about it, New York really is a pink city. Pink is really everywhere. was allowed but video wasn't allowed and I didn't really get the message till after I'd gotten some footage so sorry not sorry <laughs> it's not a ton it's a small exhibit and it's not a ton of footage but I just wanted to show you some of the items in the history of pink exhibit there's a video um, before you get into the exhibit and she's talking about the history of pink I can't decide it's better here or here how about happy medium She's talking about the history of pink, and one thing that I found really interesting is she said that you either love it or hate it. I think she used the word repulsion or attraction. So I'm obviously attracted to pink, not repulsed by it. And then she used the word divisive, saying pink is divisive. So I thought that was very interesting. And hopefully now that I'm older, I'm not as much this way, but I have had a history of being a little bit polarizing for people. People either get me or they really don't get me. And <laughs> and I've even seen, like I saw someone on her, um, on her video, like she was an English podcaster, I guess, yeah. talking about how shrill I am. And I'm not offended by that, but I think that sometimes my excitement and my extraness and my exuberance, people don't like it. So. I think maybe that's why I like pink, because you either love it or you hate it. She mentioned that there was a columnist, I think it was in the Washington Post, who she directly quoted the author who said, ladies, step away from the pink when we were making pink pussy hats for the march. Um, because I guess she, her point of view was that pink was trivializing serious issues. So I don't know, I don't, I really don't want to talk about politics right now, but it was an interesting thing that she cited as like a piece of fashion handmade by women in the color pink. I mean, there were colors besides that, but in general, it was a pink hat. So it was really fun to think about, really provocative. Another thing that she pointed out was that many shades of pink are named feminine things like baby pink, hot pink, Barbie pink, um, lingerie pink. And after seeing all of these different shades in like paint chips and different um, parts of the museum or the exhibit, I am definitely a Barbie pink girl, so I just can't help it. I like Barbie pink, I guess. I like, just like Barbie pink. Now, there was this diorama that they had in the center of the exhibit with all of these different toys from the middle of the 20th century to now, and I recognized so many objects in that diorama. There were Barbies from my mom's generation, from my generation, My Little Ponies. There were dolls, Madame Alexander dolls from her generation and mine. Pause. That pink action. 
I'm back. And so it was really interesting and fun to just see how much of an influence Pink really has had on me personally and I'm sure many other people. They did also talk about how pink as an, a gender assignment, like pink for girls, blue for boys, didn't really come into play until um, after the 1920s. She said even in 1920s, people just didn't associate one or, over the other and that the association of the gender assignment didn't really come until advertising in like the 40s, 50s, 60s. It was sort of a gradual thing and it was uh, a ploy play the right word it was a marketing technique to get people to buy more clothes so blue clothes for the baby boy girl pink pink clothes for the baby girl so I'm reporting on this only to tell you what was in the exhibit not to stir up any controversy I really don't want to have a conversation about anything controversial underneath this video just telling you the about the exhibit uh, what they were presenting to all of us at the exhibit it's closing in a few days by the time you see this it most certainly will be closed but I just wanted to let you know what I saw there. I hope you enjoyed it. Oh, one more thing. I did notice some knitwear. I noticed some knitted booties, knitted pink booties in the diorama. I got a little photo of those. There's some photos, some videos here because I found out halfway through that I wasn't allowed to video. So hopefully it will, it will be enough to give you an idea of what the history of pink exhibit was all about here at FIT in New York City. Thank you so much for adventuring with me as always. I love taking you on my knitting adventures and I just love the community that we're building here and I love pink. Sorry, not sorry.